Hi guys, Rose here with the Catcalling Moon. This is going to be a video where I just ramble and talk um, as much as I can talk right now. Um, I'm a little, <laughs> a little sick. So anyways, look at this cute duck bag that Jess Roller sent me. I purchased this one. Um, as soon as she posted the the, the newest decks, the la 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 la. la. <laughs> The newest deck bags that she added to her shop. This was one of them. Whew. My legs are all making noise on the chair. Um, <laughs> she was. Um, she had just recently added a bunch of deck bags to her shop, and this was one of them. And as you can tell, I fell in love. Obviously, I mean, who wouldn't fall in love with a cute like aqua? It's, it really reminds me of aquamarine with moons, ghosts. And then we have freaking astrology, like constellations. Who wouldn't want that? I did. Like, I really felt like this had my name all over it. So I just wanted to do a quick little um, shout out to Jess Roller. I will link um, her shop in the description box. Highly, highly, highly recommend her deck bags. This is the very first one that I have ever owned by her. And I like seriously want to add more to my collection because it is so cute so sturdy <laughs> so you pull the little strings here it closes um it's the perfect size for a tarot deck let me show you so and oh the inside the inside is um another cute little like material so cute and it has a crystal i have a crystal inside of it i threw a little um a red coral <laughs> um it's perfect for an, a tarot deck, so standard size tarot. This is the Rider weight, perfect size for it. You could fit an oracle in here too, um, but maybe not so much like, maybe not so much like the chunkier oracle decks, you know, the the wider ones. But definitely like, you could fit a, a larger size deck in here. Let me just kind of see. So you could totally fit an oracle deck in there, um, but perfect for a tarot deck and then you can throw in like a crystal or two or whatever um or whatever <laughs> um for you know to, to to carry with you freaking love it thank you jess okay so anyways um <laughs> i wanted to talk i just wanted to ramble so this is a ramble video oh, also a little promo for jess but um just a ramble so what's going on guys how are you doing um I got a lot of comments both on the video that I posted about why I unfollowed um, a certain tarot, well, ex-tarot reader. Um, I got a lot of comments. I also received a lot of personal messages um, from you guys, and it was really nice to hear the feedback. <coughs> Excuse me. So some of the feedback that I got from you guys was positive. Some of you were a little upset with, you know, the fact that I disagreed or I wasn't supporting a fellow reader's decision to part ways. And it wasn't so much that I choose to like, I, 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 I guess I feel like I have to like say it again. I do not dislike this person. I do not hate this person. I still highly adore this person and I hope that one day if they choose to come back to the path I will be waiting with my arms wide open to invite her back <laughs> um not saying that that's gonna happen you know because it seems like she's pretty pretty um sure about her path and the decision she made which is all the best to her but um I wanted to make sure that you guys are aware that I wasn't hating on this person because I, I wasn't, I'm not. Um, I was simply expressing my emotions at that time. When I posted the video, it was very fresh that I noticed that this transition was happening. Um, she hadn't even posted a video about her journey. So that's why I kept it anonymous um, because I felt like I said it wasn't my place to throw her name out there. Now that she has come out with her video, um, she disabled the comments so people can't, you know, leave her hate, which I totally support that because it's a very big thing when you decide to turn your back on a certain path that you have been on for years. 
And to have a large following as much as she did, um, you're going to have a lot of people who are upset. And rightfully so, you know, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be upset. I was upset. <laughs> but I, feel, I think that her choice to shut the comments off, I understand now why. Because when you're doing something like that, you don't want people telling you how shitty of a person you are or whatever. You know, people can be mean. So I totally support that. But I also feel like um, it kind of closes off the ability for us to have a dialogue with her. Um, so I don't know. I'm like kind of like on both sides of the, of the line here. Part of me wishes that I could sit and have a dialogue with her. You know, I probably could send her a message and talk to her about it. But I'm not doing it. I wouldn't go talk to her about it to persuade her to come back. Just as I wouldn't want her to persuade me to follow her path. It would just simply be, I don't know, like me saying what I need to say. But at the same time, it's, when I think about it, it's like, well, do I really need to say it? Like, it doesn't matter to her. She made her decision, you know. So, I don't know. But there's a lot of people in this community who are having mixed feelings about this. Um, so I have a Facebook group called Talk Tarot With Me. And there's about almost 300 members in it. And we had a dialogue about this whole, like, this whole thing. <laughs> I wanted this space there for people to feel like they can um, come forward, talk about it, to vent. Um... We shared our feelings, you know, because I know if I felt like I needed to get it out and I did in a video, some people who don't have YouTube channels or, you know, who have, who, who just want to talk about it. I wanted to have that space for them to feel like they could. So <laughs> it's there. Um, if you want to join the group, I'll put a link to that in the description box also. Otherwise, you could just search Talk Tarot with me on Facebook and answer the questions when you try to join the group, please. <laughs> I put two questions in there because it really helps me filter out people who are just like joining a group. I've had some really random people try to. Um, and then I also have people who like think it's where they can ask for free readings and it's like, no, <laughs> This isn't a place for you to get free readings. It's a place for you to communicate with other tarot readers or other spiritual people who are on the same or similar path as you so we can just talk. It's a way for us to escape our, our, you know, our daily lives or escape being tarot readers. It's not a place to advertise your business. It's not a place to offer your free readings or ask for free readings. It's a place for you to um, talk about whatever is coming up in your life. Do you know what I mean? That's why I made the group. So <laughs> just putting that out there. Um, but anyways, I don't know you guys, if you haven't seen the video, I don't even know if I should even link it because I don't want to like put more focus on all of that. But if you know who I'm talking about or whatever and you've seen the video and you feel like you just need to talk about it, um, join my group. Join my Facebook group. Let's talk about it. Or send me a message, you know. Email me, thecacklingmoon at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram. Send me a DM. Let's talk. I want you guys to feel like you have someone to talk to, okay? Um, I feel like eventually other readers... Uh, I know Kellyanne Maddox is going to be making a video about it. She mentioned it and she commented on the video that I put. So hopefully Kellyanne Maddox will have her own version, her own opinion on whatever happened, what took place. And she'll have a video for you guys to watch too. But I want you guys to feel like you can, you can talk about it, you know. Um, your feelings, your opinions matter. And, um... As long as you're respectful, you know, as long as you're respectful, it's hard to 
to see someone that you care about, to see a reader you loved and you followed all the time, go on a path that you may not agree with. Um, but we also have to remember that we are all, we are all able to and should be able to and should be allowed to follow a path that feels right to us. Um, so if she chooses to do that, that is her choice. But I think what is starting to get people upset is the fact that she started saying that a lot of the readings that she was doing and the energies that she was working with, because I know she was working with a lot of different deities at one point, were demonic. And when I read that, or not when I read it, when I saw that on the video, I was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so if you guys are like conflicted about this, if you're triggered, um, I don't. I, I'm sorry, but when I'm doing my readings, I don't feel any demonic presence when I do my readings. I don't feel like I'm communicating with demons. I have felt demon or dark, low vibrational energy before. And when I do a client reading for you guys or for myself, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't feel that. So I just want to put that out there also. Um, just because you read tarot cards doesn't mean that you are a worship, demon worshiping person. We are not bad people. Um, there's so much taboo with tarot. There's so much, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Ah, I can't, can't think. I'm like sick and I can't think. Um, stereotypes, negative stereotypes about tarot readers, psychics, mediums, spirituality, the new age community. So many people are looking at us as like we're, we're playing with the devil. Like, I don't understand that. When I first started the journey, <laughs> I was one of those people that feared tarot cards because of what I grew up with. I grew up in a very conservative family who told me, who still believe that everything that I'm doing is of the devil, okay? So I can see her mindset on that. But I also feel like, um, I feel like that was just so disappointing when I heard her say that. When Elise, I'm just going to say her name because she already put her video out there. When Elise said what she feels, that she feels like she was, when now that she's on her path of being a, a Christian, that now when she looks back at how she was as a tarot reader and what she was doing, that she was communicating or working with the de demonic energies was like the hell <laughs> you know maybe she had different experiences but I just know that when I'm doing readings for you guys and you see my readings I post my client readings the ones that my clients are comfortable with having public um you see my readings I don't feel like I'm working with any demonic or negative energies so I was offended by that I was disappointed in that the fact that she said that um it was just like really <laughs> um I followed her for like four years and I just couldn't believe what I was hearing um her demeanor in her video was very different I don't know if I okay, if you guys who watched it if you noticed I really felt like her energy was so different and I guess that has to do with the fact that she's not working with the same kind of energy. She's not of the same energy anymore that, you know, you and I are doing as readers. She just seems so, um, and maybe it's because of the topic that she was talking about, but that she had a lot on her mind and so that she just seemed so nervous, like nervous and unsettled. And I almost feel like it was like the video was for her to persuade herself to tell herself that, yes, this is why I'm doing this, you know? Um, my intuition tells me that I feel like she's still teetering, um, even though she's really like, she's completely cut everything off about that path. I still, my intuition tells me that she's still back and forth. Um, my vibe tells me that I feel like, I just, I don't know. I feel like she's gonna wake up one day, like wake up, you know? And be like, the hell am I doing? You know, 
but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Um, maybe it's wishful thinking because I want her back. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. You can't, you can't force anyone to do things, you know? So that's like what I also wanted to say is you guys have to be, you don't have to support what she does, but don't put hate on another person, you know? Um, and don't hate on me for putting my opinion out there, you guys. I'm sorry, but some of the messages that I got, I had to delete because it was just a troll. But it's like, don't hate on me for putting my opinion out there. One, it's my opinion. And two, I had stated that I am not hating on this person or whatever. I was simply sharing with you guys my feelings and how I feel. So don't be telling me, you know, that I was being a hater and I need to mind my own business and focus on my own life. Um, that I play the victim card, really? <laughs> okay. Um, just That's just so stupid. And that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. That's probably why Elise made her comments disabled. She disabled her comments because there's people like that that are just stupid, that are just, they're just going to troll, you know? Um, but anyway, I don't want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> it's like, to me, it's like, I already shared how I feel. Um, I look forward to seeing if any other readers put their own insight out there. You know, I look forward to it. If you know and anyone else who has put a video out about their opinions, I want to see it. So link me, you guys. Um, but I'm done. I'm done with that topic. <laughs> Um, but if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. What else? <coughs> uh, I'm so over being sick. I, it's like all right here. It's all in my chest. And it feels so tight when I sleep. It's awful. And um, But I feel like, I, you know, like it's weird. I don't feel sick. I just I feel right here. It's all right here. My throat chakra is like... <coughs> anyway, um, what else? I don't know. My website. Oh, <laughs> I'm like trying to work on my website. So I hope to have that up next month. So if you guys have tried going to the cacklingmoon.com, uh, I'm still working on my website. I switched over to Squarespace because I was not happy with WordPress. So as you can imagine, I have to like do everything all over. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on with the website. Um, what else? I don't know. Nothing. There's really nothing else to update you guys on. You know, really nothing. What could I do? Let's pull a card. Let's pull a card. I have the Work Your Light Oracle right here and my tarot. So let's pull a card about, um, whoo, what just popped out? Queen of Wands. Okay. So I was just talking about, you know, my business right now, my webpage. And the Queen of Wands popped out, which she's she's a workhorse. She knows how to get shit done. So she the vibration that I should be um, embracing is Queen of Wands energy. Inspired, being inspired, creating, owning. So, <laughs> I love it. Align your life. <laughs> Align your life. What is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? Oh my gosh. What is no longer aligning with me? We were just talking about Elise. Elise's path. Um, Christianity. It's just church in general doesn't align with me anymore. And I'm really seeing that. Um, what else doesn't align with me? Certain people, I guess. Um, I've unfollowed people on Instagram. I unfollowed a lot of like business stuff, like just a lot of those like spiritual business people who, you know, you have to pay all this money to do, you know, those kind of things. I, I unfollowed a lot of that. Um, what else doesn't align in my life? Certain foods. <laughs> I'm really trying to focus on making better eating choices. So um, certain foods, a lot of like heavy meats, um, like 
when my husband loves cheeseburgers and all that kind of stuff, right? And I'll eat it. But lately I have noticed I have not been wanting it. Um, I'm trying to cut down on a lot of my meat intake. Um, I've cut out pork, but I really need to um, focus on eating leaner meats. So that's another one, which is not aligning with my life is meat, like certain meats. Um, what else? I don't know. I don't know, I'm pretty content. Like I'm content right now with my life. Um, so I don't know, I think Queen of Wands though. <laughs> this is the last queen that I feel like I have to embrace. I was embracing Queen of Cups. I was the Queen of Cups when I entered my spiritual journey. And then I morphed into the Queen of Pentacles for the longest time as my um, tarot, my tarot business started to grow. And then um, last year, I became the Queen of Swords. Um, I was very outspoken with people. I was very like laying down the rules of what I want, you know, in my life. I was not afraid to speak up. Um, I cut out a lot of people in my friends, my, my little friendship circle. But I feel like maybe the Queen of Wands is popping up now because this is me getting back on track health-wise. Health, um, Wands is fire energy. Sex, that's another one. <laughs> Spicing up the sex life. Um, I don't know. Maybe the Queen of Wands is coming up for me right now because I need to embrace more of Queen of Wands energy. Getting shit done with my Calculine Moon. Um, you know, getting back on track, getting you know strict with my schedule. I could see that because when I started my new job, the job I'm currently at right now, um, I was totally focused on that because I was training. I was in training. But now I feel really comfortable with the job. I love it. I love my coworkers. Um, so I think now I can focus more on creating a stricter schedule with cackling moon but yeah so anyways um i just wanted to get on here to ramble i wanted you guys to have something else to watch of the side from my client video readings um if you guys want a reading please 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 reach out <laughs> um i am so open right now i'm so caught up on my reading so 100 open if you guys want an in-person reading if you were in southern california you can send me an email or um, message me on Instagram. I will leave my information below. Um, but please reach out. And I guess that's it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for putting up with my sick voice. Um, and thank you for listening to my ramble and respecting my opinions. And I wish you all a beautiful rest of the day. Bye, guys.